I, as inspired by the drugstore versus high-end makeup thing where they split it down the middle and like compare the two or create a look uh, based on the two, I thought I would do that with my hair. So hence why my hair's looking a little bit wacky, it's because it's wash day. So I'm gonna start by splitting my hair down the middle and my right side is going to be the expensive side and the left side is going to be the cheaper side. So I guess that's your right. My left, I'm sorry. I'll flash up on the screen anyway. To pre-shampoo on my right side, I'm going to use Ojohn's Restorative Conditioner. This cost 36 pounds. I'm gonna use that to detangle and pre-poo, pre-condition my hair. I'm gonna slather that all over to begin with. Oopsie, there you go, all the shed hair and tangled hair immediately starts to come out. The Ojon restorative treatment is supposed to deeply treat and restore damaged hair. And I am wiping my hands off just to make sure this is a fair test. This side I'm going to use good old coconut oil. This one is like £2.50 from Tesco's. 100% coconut oil and I get on with it. I use both of these interchangeably. Slather it all over. And then break it up using a little bit more coconut oil as I go. That is that side detangled as well. My immediate comment is coconut oil actually has way more, ooh, see, it has way more slip um, than the Ojon one. So I got through this so much quicker than this side. So I'm going to now put this up for 10 minutes, let it sit and marinate and see what happens. So it's been about 10 to 15 minutes now. And by the way, this side isn't fuller. It's just a little bit of a stretch here hairband so I have done it as even as I can but for this expensive side I'm going to use Aveda's Be Curly co-wash which looks like this free from silicones and everything like that and this costs 21 pounds and for my drugstore side I'm going to use Aunt Jackie's Purify Me co-wash cleanser and this costs 4.49 First thought with the Aunt Jackie's Purify Me Cleanser is that there's major suds, there's a really large lather, quite distinct lather, which isn't very common of co-washes to have such a strong lather like that. But I did feel like it was quite soft and rinsing it through it didn't feel like it was really stripping my hair. You can really notice the difference between shampoos and co-washes. And I do feel like it really cleansed my hair really well. I probably could have gotten away with just one lather per section, but I chose to do two lathers per section. Veda Curly Be Curly Co-Wash. I found that it was more in tune with co-washes, like conditioner washes that it didn't lather very much. I did, however, feel like I had to really give my scalp a serious massage to make sure I was really lifting away the debris. And I did find at times that I wanted to apply more product per lather, which is not ideal, especially given that it's 21 pounds, like you don't want to be using tons of product just to wash your hair. So the Aveda one says that it has no frizz. I do kind of agree. I feel like there isn't as much frizz on this side as compared to this side. You can really see uh, roughing up of the cuticle around here in the crown. Not much though, so there hasn't been much of a difference there, but I will say it can proudly say it does what it says. My next step is to deep condition. So on this cheaper side, I'm going to use Naughty to the rescue, 97% natural, conditioner, it's their moisture boost conditioner for frizzy and damaged hair with shea butter and olive oil. This is from Superdrug, or I got it at Superdrug for six pounds, I believe. And on my more, honestly, this is this is one of the really, this, we're gonna start really getting expensive now. Okay, on the expensive side, I'm going to use Christoph Robin Mask Regenerant, regenerating mask with rare prickly pear seed oil. Looks like this. 
and it comes in its own box and that is because it costs 53 pounds yeah so leave this on for 20 minutes to hopefully see how moisturizing it's going to be see if it distinctively looks any different like will it look shinier on the side more moisturizing less tangles etc see you in 20 minutes it's been 20 minutes so let's have a look that feels nice and soft it also feels a little bit warm so it's good to know my body heat really helped with that feels soft but I will say the ends of this feel a lot softer interestingly as you can probably just see straight away this side seems to be weighed down a lot more than this side seems to be a lot more stretched out but let's give this a rinse I'm going to blot it dry and then apply a leave-in conditioner for my leave-in conditioner on my expensive side I'm going to use Philip Kingsley's daily damage defense this is £8.50 for only 60 millilitres. I'm just going to twist it up so that it doesn't stay too shrunken. On this side, I'm going to use Cantu's Natural Hair Coil Calm Detangler, which costs £4.99 for eight fluid ounces. So comparatively, so much better obviously. This smells like pure coconuts. It smells quite similar to the coconut curling cream. I guess that's the uniformity of the Cantu brand. Finding it a little bit hard to work through, I will say. So the final step in my wash day is to style. Uh, I could just leave it like this, but it's not the neatest. So I'm going to take each twist down and braid it. That's gonna help stretch it and give it a really nice style. And so for the more expensive side, I'm going to use Leonor Grail, I hope I'm saying that correctly, the Clap Naturel Styling Cream for very dry, thick or frizzy hair. It looks like this. This costs 25 pounds for 50 milliliters 25 pounds for a travel size amount like this my finishing oil to seal everything and make sure nothing escapes on the expensive side is going to be jojoba oil jojoba oil is quite an expensive oil like if you get really well refined ones they can set you back 15 pounds at the most minimal. <laughs> it smells like a really nice ice lolly, <laughs> but really nice and fresh. And it's very smooth, cream-like. Rub that into my hands. Oh, I forgot to take this down. Smooth that through. Finish that off with a little bit of jojoba oil. Just like about five pence size, focusing on the ends, bringing it up. So on this side, I am going to use Talia Wajid's Pure and Natural Natural Hair Shea Cocoa Style Cream with Shea Butter and Coconut. This one costs $5.99 for eight fluid ounces and just throwing it right back because I haven't used this on my hair in years, I think since I was relaxed actually, but is just good old from the kitchen cupboard olive oil or extra virgin olive oil in particular. Uh, costs like two pounds from Tesco's, get it absolutely anywhere and everywhere. So I'm gonna use that as my finishing oil. This is very candy coconutty. It smells exactly the same as Cantu to be honest. So I'll just take a little bit of that. It's a little bit thicker than the Leonor Grail styling cream. Take a little bit of olive oil. I like the smell of olive oil actually. Though it did make me immediately think of some bread. Oh, like some focaccia bread. 
So that is my wash day fully completed and I did a really full thorough wash day. I really wanted to give all the products a really good try. So I have braided my hair up. It's all finished and ready and I'm going to just go to bed. I'll see you in the morning for the takedown, reveal, see which side is better. So for my drugstore side, I spent around 25 pounds in total from pre-poo right the way to finishing oil. And on this side, the high-end side, I spent around £150, which is not even as expensive as I could have gone, but you know, <laughs> my wallet. I would say my first like immediate thing or thing that I really notice is the more expensive side is a bit more shrunken than the drugstore side. It seems to be uh, pulling my hair down, which in a way I prefer because it means it's stretching my hair out, which stops my coils from tangling upon each other. Perhaps there's less humectants or what have you, or some other ingredients are helping elongate the coils. So I do actually prefer that of this side. Um, the things I prefer of this side is that there is less frizz in my opinion. It's a lot softer. I love the scent of it as well. So I think there are obviously pros and cons to using more expensive stuff, but I just don't think you have to. Like, do you have to? No, you don't. Uh, perhaps you might get softer hair or what have you, just that bit quicker than this side. I actually prefer the cleansers of drugstore products compared to high-end products. I really love Ojon because it, I don't know, the oils that are within it seem to really, really nourish the hair from within. So that's why I really like it as a treatment. But I think for detangling and just getting through, coconut oil is definitely one of the ways to go if you can use that on your hair. But this side, I much prefer the conditioner and finishing products. That prickly pear conditioner, I mean, it's 53 pounds, but I'm bloody glad I prefer it. I should prefer it. My ends felt so much softer than this side. I also, to be fair, really don't like that super drug conditioner. It, the smell of it, I, I can't, I can't stand that st smell. I could feel a lot of the oil on my hair when I was taking it down on this side. Whereas on this side, I had slight, slight bit of oil on my fingers, but I almost felt more confident that the ingredients had gone into the hair and like had absorbed and therefore my hair's feeling moisturized from within. Also the Lenore Grail Styling Cream, the Shea Butter and Jojoba Oil, wow, I don't know, I just feel like it's way more nourished. And I don't know if it's just me, but I also feel like this side is a bit richer in color, like it's a little bit blacker on this side as opposed to this side, perhaps it's that residue of product or what have you, looks a little bit more dull. I'm not too bothered about the leave-in conditioners. Neither of them really took my fancy. I didn't really like how the Cantu one, it kind of was sudsing up, like it felt, and I could hear like some crackling going on, so but also the Philip Kingsley one, I don't think it's that suitable, maybe for when I'm heat styling. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried something really expensive, really high end. How did it go for you? Did it work? Did it absolutely fail you? And you were like, what? We are never spending this much money ever again. And this was not even as expensive as I could have gone. There were some products that were like 75 pounds. Ah, uh, like insane that these kinds of things even exist. And sometimes as well, I would look at these products that were so expensive and they would be full of silicones and sulfates, which aren't the most expensive uh, ingredients to produce. And I'm just like, are you joking? I'm digressing. <laughs> But let me know what you think. Which side um, do you think is better? Have you tried any of these products before? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, for a minute I was like, oh, right, quiet, quiet. I was like, be quiet, everyone. <laughs>